Hi guys, we're back with another week of learning online. Last week, um, you guys learned five new snap words and on your document that I sent out with these videos, I listed five more snap words for you to work on and practice this week. Those words are family, find, kind, ask, and them. So work on spelling those words, using them in sentences, um, and practicing writing them um, so that we can know them and make them snap words. Last week we talked about the um, bossy R vowel team called AR. And so this week I was doing some reading in my book and I came across three words that I noticed were different, but there was something about them that was the same. So I'm going to share my screen with you and I want you to look at these words that I found in my book and um, I want you to see if you can help me figure out what was the same about them. So the first word that I was reading in my book was this word faster. Okay, the second word that I came across was the word shirt. And the third word that I had was hurt. Now, yes, I see that all of these words have a T in them, but other than that, there's nothing that I really noticed that looks the exact same. But there was something that I noticed when I listen, I heard that there was something the same about these words. And I want you to see if you can, you can hear, what's, hear what's the same, not what looks the same. Fast, er, sh, er, t, and er, t. Did you hear one sound that was the same in all of those words? the er sound. But you know what? When I looked at these words, they're spelled three different ways. And that just confused me even more. So I thought that you guys are such great word detectives and word builders that you guys would be able to help me look at these um, different sounds that say er. So I'm noticing in this word faster, let's see, Ast er, I'm seeing that it has an E and an R that are working together to make that er sound. Fast er, we know that, that's an ending. We talked about that way at the beginning of the year, that ER is an, is an ending sound. Okay, so let's go to this word shirt, because I don't see ER there. So it has to be another two, another combination of letters. Sh er t. Mm, you know what? I see that R here, just like an ER, but this time it has the vowel I with it. So I'm going to do that because I didn't hear that I or I sound. Sh er t. There's no vowel sound with it. It's just that er. So that I is, goes with it. Okay, they go together. They make that sound together. And now let's look at the last word that I found in my reading. Hurt. <sighs> er -t. Okay, I hear that er sound again, but I didn't hear anything coming from this U. So I am going to guess that they work together. So today we are going to talk about how the letters E-R, I-R, and U-R work together to make the sound er. And you know what? We can call that bossy R because the R is the only letter that is talking. The E is silent, the I is silent, and the U is also silent. So I am going to um, give you some words that you can work on and try to practice spelling. But how do I know which letters to use? How do I know if I need to use ER or IR or UR? And you know what? That's where this becomes a little bit tricky. So we're gonna have to go with, does it look right? Does it sound right? And does it make sense? 
okay? So when we're writing these, I'm going to show you how we can practice writing them all with all three, ER, IR, and UR, and then decide which one looks the best, okay? So the first word that I want for us to write is the word bird bird. So you have a piece of paper or you have something on your computer you can type on. We're going to write the word bird. So I hear b -er -d. b -er. Okay, so now here's where I have to decide. E-R, I-R, or U-R. I'm going to try all of them. Okay, b -er -d. Okay, there's one. Let's do it with the IR. B, er, we're gonna use that IR again. See if that looks good. Okay, and then the last one with UR. B, er, d. Okay, so I want you to think, does it look better with ER, IR, or UR? I, R. I think I, R looks the best. So bird is spelled with I, R. Even though it makes the same sound as E, R and U, R, we have to look to see which one looks right. So I'm going to flip over to my next page and I'm going to write bird under the word shirt because we decided that bird makes the I or makes the sound er with I and R. All right, here's the next word that we're gonna practice writing. Okay, and we're gonna decide, do we need ER, IR, or UR? And the way that we decide, for right now, the way that we're gonna decide is, does it look right? Okay, so the next word I want us to write is fur. Margo has black fur, okay. So let's start with ER. Fur. -er. All right. Let's do our next one with IR. Fur. -er. And then let's do our next one with UR. Fur. -er. This is so hard. Okay, look at those and think about which one looks right. I think this one looks right. The word fur, even though it still makes that same er sound, like in shirt and fast er and hurt, we're going to use ur. And we know that because we just have to decide which one looks right. So I'm going to add fur to our chart under hurt. Okay, and let's do one more and I'm gonna give you a challenge word. So do the best you can. Let's do the word, um, let's do the word mm, hamster, hamster, <sighs> am, st, er. Okay, we'll write it all three ways. So let's get, Am, st. I hear the snap word am. And then the blend st. Come on. <laughs> okay, ham, st, er. Let's start with er. Okay. Let's do it again so we can write ham. And this time at the end of our word, let's add um, the IR. Okay. And then our very last word, we'll add UR at the end where we hear that er sound, hamster, and see which one looks right. Oh, I think I know. You know what? 
hamster kind of looks the same at the end as faster. Look. Do you guys see that? S-T-E-R. They kind of look the same. So I'm thinking that hamster with that E, oops, oops, uh, with that E-R is going to be how we spell hamster with that E-R. So let's go over to our T chart here and I'm going to write hamster with E-R. Cool. All right. So today we learned that th there are three different ways that we can write the sound er. We can write the sound er with er. We can write the sound er with ir. And we can write the sound er with ur. And the way that we decide which one we write is we write it all three ways and then decide which one looks the best. So, um, Today, as you guys get started and you guys are working on your assignments, you guys are going to make your own chart that has E-R, I-R, and U-R. So I want your chart to look just like the one that we just made. Um, I'm trying to share my screen again. So I want yours to look just like this. So you should have faster, you should have shirt, you should have hurt, and then I want you um, to see if you can find E-R, I-R, and U-R words in the books that you're reading, and you can add those to your T-chart. All right, guys, I hope that you have a good day and work on E-R, I-R, and U-R.